Hey, hello everyone. Hello, hello. Are you all ready? Let's get this started here. All right. There it goes. And there we go. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to our uh, Wednesday Night Live. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. We get together every Wednesday night and draw a portrait. If you're interested in helping to choose the portrait that we draw, we have a great Facebook group and I will put up a couple portraits for everyone to vote on. And so this this one that we're looking at tonight, this is the one that uh, has won. Oh, you know what? Let me turn the slide off back here. This is... <clears throat> This is the portrait that uh, won, and so here we are. We're going to give this a go tonight. Let's see. Uh, if you are interested, we, like I said, we do have a really robust Facebook group that's very active, and if you're seeing this on YouTube, I would recommend that you join us. We are really supportive and just want you to find your success as a artist and a draftsman. That's what we're here. That's why we do this. That's why I do this to uh, give back to you as much as I can with uh, how much that I've learned over the years. So we have that. Um, if you want a great class, if you struggle with consistently drawing every day, there is a great class that I have called the Daily Draw. We get together uh, a little bit every day for about 30 to 40 minutes in the morning. And I have a new subject that we look at every single day of the week. And this would really help you to establish the habit of drawing. And uh, I think that is the quickest way and the best way for you to see success. We just also have a beginner's workshop class, a beginning class called Back to Basics. You can find all this information in the description or jump on over to Facebook, join our group. And there's many people there who would be more than happy to help you. Okay? Enough of all that good stuff. Let's get into this, huh? <laughs> now we have this um, older man. Then a lot of times, one thing I really appreciate about um, drawing people, this gentleman, this portrait that has a lot of character, it should be a lot of fun and take a lot of pressure off. I, I think uh, a pretty girl or something like that, those, are por those portraits add a tremendous amount of anxiety because you want them to look pretty. But uh, this one gives us a lot of leeway to have a little bit more fun. So as we draw tonight, try and, uh, uh, try and relax. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're here. Give yourself a pat on the back. This is where the real learning happens is just by persevering and uh, putting the time in. Okay? Uh, I do appreciate if you don't mind commenting on the video, give it a thumbs up, or even subscribing to the channel. I do come live every Monday night and every Tuesday. Uh, Monday night, we do landscape. On Wednesday night, that being tonight, we do portraiture. So check that out. And hello to Pamela from Illinois, okay? <laughs> All right, let's get started. So... Let's go over just a couple basics uh, because this is geared toward the beginner, okay? So <clears throat> when I draw any portrait, I'm always looking for uh, the T of the face, okay? So let's take a look at that here. Let's, let's come in here with two different, uh, two different round spheres, okay? And let's say on this one here, I'm looking up at the face. I'm looking up. So you're going to have a, it, before I do that, let's drop in a center line here and a center line here. Okay. That's the first thing we want to look for is what is the angle of the face that we're looking at? The next thing I want to look for is where is the brow line? The brow line is goes right through the temples in the corners of the skull here, across the front, and then it goes through the top of the ear. So in this guy, you know, this is going to be a little bit round like this. You see this? And this guy, we'll make him slightly looking down. So his, 
we'll have a slightly different direction that we're looking at that head right there. So once I get that established, <clears throat> next thing I want to do is put my points where these are the temples are, or we could call them landmarks. And so with the landmarks, I'm going to put one here and then one over there. And then we're going to call this A, and this is going to be B. Then on B, I'm going to go there and maybe right there, okay? The temples that are that are right there. Next thing you want to do is take off the side of the head, like you slice that off because the our heads are are flat. Our heads are very flat on the side, but from the side view, they're very round. Looking looking front at a how at a at a head, it's going to be very flat. All right, B. Let's also take a slice off just like that. Look, let's look at A here and where this curves around let's put our center line is going to be just slightly because it's a three-quarter view it's going to be slightly to the right and usually the center line is going to follow the same angle as the angle of the head all right, same thing over on B here. Let's come over here. Okay. And we could drop a line here and a line over there. This is going to signify the side of our heads. And from the temple, it's going to go straight back like this. <coughs> Same thing up here. It's going to go straight back like that. Okay, next, next, this is the brow line. Nose, nose is going to be about, about that far down. And we'll call that a third, all right? It's, a, it's usually a third. And if we take that same exact measurement and drop another third, that's going to be about the bottom of the chin. And if we go up a third, that would be roughly maybe the hairline up there on top. So you could think of these are in thirds. So if you had a, a head over here, Is going to go right in there. Could come down like this. This is where the nose will, the bottom of the nose and the bottom of the chin. About a third. That looks a little bit long stretched for me. Bottom of the nose, ear, barrel of the mouth, 
and chin. Okay, let's come back over to B. We're going to drop the jaw down just a little bit here, and then we're going to just sweep that around like that. This side of the head, on the other side over here, this is going to sweep around like this. Back of head's going to come over there. Bottom of the nose, cheekbone, then the ear. These things, these things line up. Go to the other side here. <clears throat> Brow line, bottom of the nose. Okay, that's going to be a third there. Let's just double that. Here's the bottom of my chin right there. And then this is going to be my, my hairline is going to be up the top there. Drop down a little bit, and then sweep around. And that's basically our, our rough head shape, okay? Okay, let's bring up our man now. <clears throat> and <clears throat> what I want to do here with him is I want to see if we could do two drawings tonight. Okay, we're going to try and do two drawings. I'm going to watch the clock here. And the first one we'll try and do in 10 to 15 minutes. But what, the way I want you to think about this, because he has a lot of character, I want you to start to think about shape. Look for big, basic shapes. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, think of, big, think of big, basic shapes. So let's, let's do this together, per se. So let's start off with, and this is going to be a quick drawing. So... Don't think so much about getting the likeness, but just try and make it more of a caricature. Try and make it have a little bit more fun when you're doing this, okay? So, as I see this, I, I see this as a shape here. Let me, let me draw mine first. That's the first thing I see. That's kind of the shape that I see his head taking. Then if I look at his beard, his beard, I almost read it kind of as a big old square coming down <clears throat> just looking for shapes that's it
Plus this, this will make it a little bit more, this will give you some time to get accustomed to this just a little bit. Okay, he's got his other hair coming down like this, All right? Now, look closely now. Look, look at his, look at his eyes. Okay, and what I want you to notice carefully here is this, because this this will make a big difference. Look, be aware of that distance. Okay, compare that to that distance. You see that? So we actually see a lot more of his right side than his left side. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of put his nose. His nose is going to be over on this side over here. That's going to be the center line. I put those two little marks in for his temples. There's one eyeball. And there's another. Just keep thinking shape right now, okay? Hey, Ariana. Whoa, you're here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe you're up. <laughs> okay, look, there's his nose right there, okay? Three lines. We're just trying to keep this relaxed. There is the gabella right up there, right? Right up there between his, uh, between his eyes there. And this is going to come down like this. Oh my gosh, it's 217. I'll be awake at, I'll, I'll wake up in the middle of the night at 217. <laughs> I won't be able to go back to sleep. All right. What time is it right now? Uh, 20, all right, excellent. Please, and if I, if I start going too fast, just slow me down. There's our, there's our next shape there, okay? All right, let's get these... Uh, pupils in Look at this up, up, up here. I'm just going to draw some lines here and it, we're going to just get some of these uh, forehead wrinkles. Trying to keep it nice and light. Okay, let's let's get these eyelids in. And I just want you to just enjoy doing this. Try not looks like Darth Vader. 
<laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's get these eyelids in. You go up and down. There they are. And the other, other one as well. Up, around the top there, and down. Now we're going to, uh, I'm just going to go like uh, slightly curve there on the lower lid so we have some variation. I might have to go back and reposition my pupils a bit. All right, let's. Let's get these bags underneath his eyes because and they are going to this one on the left is going to extend out you see that you've never done a cartoon before you know I'll tell you what Joe, you're going to be amazed. This might turn in far more realistic. <laughs> Just as, my, as I'm doing it, you will, you will be amazed. Just by approaching something with shape versus volume. It's another way to uh, take a look at it. And sometimes it could be a little bit more fun because you don't get so... You don't get so tight. Keeping it nice and light here. All right, this is about where his eyebrow is going to go. And his other eyebrow is going to come over here like this. get these cheek cheekbones in a little bit more now I'm going to adjust his hair a little bit yours might be a little bit different but that's why we do these things light there's a part of his hair Let's see where the other side of his hair is. It's going to kind of come down like that. And it's it's kind of straight coming down on this side. You see that? Just trying to simplify my shapes. All 
All right, let's get this mustache here. And I'm, I'm going to give myself some surface lines. And if I look closely at his beard, he has this this area here. Let me let me show you how I'm going to do this now. I'm going to have this slight F's curve. And another slight S curve over there. Coming in here, adding some surface lines. And the same thing over on this side. Now my pupils are too big here, so I'm going to have to make them a little bit smaller. And let's get the other one here. Just the bottom, the bottom of the irises are touching his lower eyelid there. Let's, uh, let's work on, let's get this great shadow coming in beside his nose here. I'm just going to come in here with an even tone. work on this top eyelid here and if you notice on the, the right side of it is in shadow a little bit there's going to be some tone above it This really is an exercise of looking for shapes, breaking those shapes down into mass and volume. I want to show you something on the side here. I want to show you this eye. 
This eye is interesting. I want to I want to detail this eye out here for you, okay? So oops, wrong color. Let's say this is our eyeball here. This is going to be our iris. And look at look at this pad. This pad kind of comes down like this. The bottom part here, you see that? And then the next pad kind of stair steps down below that. You see that? And then, then you get the cheekbone underneath there. So you have this real stair stepping. Oh good, you're enjoying this. You have this real stair stepping. And we want to uh, we want to be aware of that. Good Joe, I'm glad you're enjoying this. So let's come back up here to this eye here. And I'm going to add that first layer there. You see that? And then we have another layer coming underneath there. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes we can get really tight when we draw portraits. And I think if we try and take the pressure off and uh, attempt just to kind of have a good time, or just to relax, sometimes we'll do much better than uh, trying to get all high strung and get this thing working right. All right, let's <clears throat> let's darken up that eyeball right there, the crease there. The shadow goes around here like this. You see that? All right, let's look on the other side here now, this side of his head. This is pretty dark here. And it has this secondary step from his cheekbone coming in there. Just trying to find the shapes. <clears throat> now here's something you need to be aware of. Look, look how bright white that is on here. Even, even this skin right there, how bright that is. Those two values are lighter than that and that. You see that? So that means that on the, right now, right now on my side of the page, I'm showing the white of the paper. So I actually need to 
Let me just double check. I should tone all this down one level. And maybe even go darker in the shadowed area there. And even the whites of his eye are a little dark. Okay. All right, let's jump to the other side just a little bit. Okay, look at this, look at his eyelid here. This kind of almost circles all the way around here. You see that? All right, let's get this eyelid going here. Look, this is a bit shadowed under here because it's turning away from the light. There's that secondary I'm just looking closely. That's that's what I'm really doing here. I'm just trying to really carefully observe this. Let's get this cheek in here. This has a, a slight tone to it. This also has a bit of a tone to it here, right on the inside of his eye. Well, so much for drawing two portraits tonight, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and draw some of his hair here. I, I like and I'm going to go dark on it right here, and I might come back and put a little bit of white on top of that after I'm done. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of go dark here with some of the groupings of this. Here's his next set of bangs. I'm kind of, I'm also looking at, uh, I'm, I'm looking at this negative space here. You see that negative space? That's what I'm going to try and uh, use to determine where this next hair goes. Okay, there's a a group of group of hair there, and it's crisscrossing a little bit. Let's get some of the bottom part here of this hair. Look at this nice little grouping. Let 
Then there's a another little grouping over here. Let's look at his beard here for a second. And if you notice, the right side of his beard gets in shadow. So let's, let's just add an overall tone to it. I'm adding the tone in kind of the direction of the beard. <clears throat> Remember, when you're drawing portraits, it takes a long time, okay? The worst mistake that you could make, if you want to get good at portraits, the worst mistake that you can make is to quit drawing them. That is the worst mistake you could do. Thing is, you just got to keep, doesn't matter what it looks like, keep go moving forward. Keep plugging along. I guarantee you, Soon it will start clicking out of 10 portraits you draw Maybe you'll hit one and Then you'll do nine terrible ones and the next thing you know you'll hit two and the slowly those numbers will change until where you're Hitting them most of the time and I think you really can get there the only thing stopping you from doing that is the repetition and daily practice, okay? It doesn't doesn't happen overnight. And it just takes hard work. <clears throat> and if you're on the internet and you see somebody who's really good at portraits, well guess what? They put the time in. No matter how easy they make it look. You're welcome, Mariana. I still can't believe you're up right now. <laughs> okay, look at this. Look at his forehead here. Okay, look at my forehead. See, my forehead's very round. Look at his. Look at his forehead. It's very round. So, it's going to be a little bit of shadow on this one side here. It's going to come into light. And then it's going to get back into shadow again. But this side, it's going to be a little bit more darker. All right, let's get some of this beard on this side now, right? So I'm just going to... Because his beard is very even, I think I'm just going to kind of go along the edges here just a bit. <clears> that will keep it nice and fine looking.
<clears throat> and sometimes to make make white, make something white, you darken the area around it and it will naturally get brighter. Now his hair on the right side is all in shadow. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to erase some of these older guidelines. How do I get those? Oh, they're on this level here, huh? Wow. Okay. And then he has this... Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to add this highlight here. Oops, wrong level. And I'm going to add it also on the other side. <clears throat> so this is this has been a great example of we started off with uh, basically just shape. We didn't really get into um, thinking of volume per much, but we just kept building shape. And that's a really good, that is another great process you could go through. Okay, one last thing I think I'm going to do here before we're done. I want to get his shoulders in because he's, if you look closely, he's leaning like this. You see that? So his uh, back shoulder is coming in over here. It's just below his. And then the other shoulder, I believe. Oh, thanks, Mariana. Is coming in way over here. Let me just let me just double check that because the picture is a little bit on the darker side. So let me crank up the brightness here. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to come in here with dark for my shoulders, I think. And by, you know what, it's interesting by adding these dark shoulders I just caused that uh, beard to uh, pop off the page create a contrast
And I think that's going to, no reason to belabor something, right? I think that's going to maybe call it for tonight. I'm going to. Darken in that upper lip there just a bit. And I think that's going to do it. So, hey, listen, I just want to uh, thank everyone for watching tonight. I tried, I was, I was thinking that we were going to get to two I wanted to draw this portrait twice but uh, it just started taking on a life of its own sometimes that happens huh <laughs> you have to adjust with the times so anyways just um, thanks for everyone for tuning in Mariana Joe and uh, Pamela post your drawings on Facebook I can't wait to see them and I think that's what we got so uh, Mariana go back to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And good night, everyone. <laughs> see y'all later. Bye-bye.